Good afternoon, Nigeria. On the news at this hour, members of the organized labor comprising the Nigeria Labor Congress and Trade Union Congress have suspended the strike nationwide for five days. The strike, which commenced on Monday, was called to protest the failure of the federal government to approve new minimum wage by May 31st as reversed the hike in electricity tariff. Recall that the labor union had a six-hour meeting with the federal government in Abuja yesterday night where the federal government expressed the commitment of President Bola Tinubu to raising the 60,000 naira offered as a minimum wage. The Nigeria police force has expressed concern over reports of alleged extortion and unethical conduct surrounding the ongoing promotion interviews for inspectors arising to the rank of assistant superintendents of police. Reports have that some officers were allegedly demanding 30,000 naira before granting promotional interviews to junior officers. But in a statement issued by its public relations officer, ACP Olumuya Adejobi, on Tuesday, the force stated that such behavior undermines the core values of the institution and will not be tolerated. Nigeria's legal tender naira has reportedly failed to make the list of representatives ex representative exchange rates for selected currencies for June 2024, published by the International Monetary Fund. Reports say this omission comes as Nigeria's currency continues to face challenges, including a fluctuating exchange, exchange rate and instability, blamed the country's economic woes on inflation, currency fluctuations and a decline in foreign investment. On the foreign scene, President Joe Biden is billed to issue a sweeping new executive order aimed at curbing migrant arrivals at the U.S.-Mexico border today. Under the planned order, U.S. officials can swiftly deport migrants who enter the U.S. illegally without processing their asylum requests once a daily threshold is met. More than 6.4 million migrants have been stopped crossing into the U.S. illegally during Joe Biden's administration, a record high that has left him politically vulnerable as he campaigns for re-election. In sports, Nigeria, Legal, Nigeria National League NNL champions Wiki Torres of Bauchi has sacked its head coach Aziz Audu over failure to meet the targets of the club. Consequently, the club's management, Bashir Sali, has been appointed on an interim basis until the search for a permanent replacement. This decision reportedly comes as a result of Aziz Audu's inability to meet the performance targets set by the club at the beginning of the season. In the meantime, the club's chief coach, Bashir Sali, takes over the responsibilities of head coach while efforts for a permanent replacement are ongoing. Thank you for watching us.